Hi, I'm Nils Christofferson. I'm the executive director of Wallow Resources, a community-based nonprofit here in Wallow County, Oregon. We contracted with the Biomass Energy Resource Center in Vermont to come out and do a pre-feasibility assessment of the three school districts here in Wallow County. Uh, they found that there were real opportunities for savings in the heating costs of all three school districts and that those savings could be redirected to other priorities. Uh, and here we have had, we've been under uh, 10 years of budget cuts with a lot of uh, reductions in staffing amongst our teaching staff and our education curriculum. So we were hoping that by saving uh, dollars on the heating and operational side of our buildings, we could move money, additional money, over to education of our kids. I'm uh, Brad Royce, Superintendent of Schools and Enterprise here in Wallowa County, Oregon. Nils Christofferson started uh, giving us information on savings that we could make with the biomass project, the exciting prospects of having a dual uh, fuel source for our school. Probably the biggest uh, issue, single issue that we addressed in this whole project was a guarantee for five years on a, on a supply source at a guaranteed price. The Enterprise School District uh, was, the, was the first school district to jump on this opportunity. Uh, and we moved forward with additional support from the Oregon Department of Forestry to do a technical energy audit of that school district, which would confirm some of the results that were, uh, were provided to us by the Biomass Energy Resource Center. And on that basis, the school board decided to move ahead with the Enterprise Woody Biomass Heating Project. Hi, I'm Cam Hamilton from McKinstry Ascension, Inc. I'm a business development manager for the state of Oregon and Southwest Washington. So when McKinstry got to the school district in 2006, 2007, we found a school district that had three boiler systems that were about 40 or 50 years old that were running steam to three buildings that were their elementary school, their middle school, and their high school, with vintages of the buildings being between 1917 to about 1960. The boilers could have been replaced with other uh, oil-fired boilers, but unfortunately the economics wouldn't pay off for them and the school district had no money to do the replacement with other oil-fired boilers. So we ended up taking a look at alternative fuel systems that we would be able to use to implement for cost savings measures for the school district. The biggest concern from the community side with this project uh, was really could we confirm that we would have a source of wood fuel into the future, 10, 20 years into the future. Community Smallwood Solutions uh, ships about uh, four van loads a week of this material, the peelings and shavings from the processing of small diameter logs into post and pole, tree stakes and hop poles uh, to a variety of uh, industrial woody biomass boilers in other parts of Oregon and, and Washington. Enter Enterprise School District needs about 30 truckloads a year to heat its school district, about, about 600 tons. Community Smallwood Solutions is trying to build an integrated small diameter wood processing plant so that we can capture a value from material that's either left in the woods or shipped out of the county and create jobs here in Malawa County. They're trying to buy all the material that is not going to, to the sawmills down to a two inch top and converting that to hop poles, fencing materials, tree stakes, firewood, and this type of residual which can be burned in boilers either to heat schools, to heat sawmill kilns, or to produce electricity. This company, Community Smallwood Solutions, has uh, guaranteed a supply contract for the next five years. So that has satisfied our school board and the administration and the community uh, for the short term. Over the long term, the Oregon Department of Forestry and the county have been working with the Forest Service and private landowners to look at other options to bring in small diameter wood and slash from forest harvest operations to a central site that can be chipped and provided to the school at low cost. Part of this project does include controls. We have classrooms that are way too hot and we have classrooms that are way too cool. So yes, the teachers do see uh, some definite benefits to this project. We have had one of our staff members uh, ask us um, why we would want to put a $2,000 saddle on a $500 horse, uh, which is a funny way of uh, putting this project. The realistic uh, things that we looked at was that we, yes, we have an old facility, but we did a survey. Uh, we hired a company, the Nelson Institute out of Salem, to come in and do a survey of our community, and there was not broad-based support 
for uh, new buildings. So we felt, what, based on what the community support was, to take care of our existing buildings and upgrade them and to make them uh, a lot more energy efficient and better heating system, that uh, it was worth to put a $2,000 saddle on a $500 horse because this is what we have and we have to live within our means just like everyone else does. This project's involved many partners. Initially, the Forest Service working with Wallow Resources and the Enterprise School District looking at the, the possibilities for savings and the, and the cost of putting in a new system. But the Oregon Department of Energy then was a very close partner looking at the performance contracting tool, uh, identifying qualifying energy service performance contractors, and helping us with the business energy tax credits that this project uh, was qualified for. So the school district could have used a traditional design bid build method for installing the measures but really that puts a lot of risk on the school district so what they decided to do was take an energy savings performance contract method to implement the biomass boiler system and the other energy efficiency upgrades throughout the entire school district. What the energy savings performance contracting process does is give a guaranteed maximum price, guaranteed cost savings, guaranteed performance, open book pricing and reconciliation of construction costs back to the owner which is a fair value for the dollars that they're spending. The school board had a couple different options when we started this project. Uh, one was to act as the general contractor ourselves, the second would be to hire an outside construction manage, management company, and the third was to do the ESCO performance contracting route which we ultimately chose. The most important reason that we chose the, the performance contracting route was the guaranteed maximum price and guaranteed savings, which allowed us to move forward with confidence in our ability to finance this project and, ach and achieve real benefits to the school district. It also provided the benefit of, uh, of the ESCO playing the general contracting role and carrying the burden of managing the, con the project and all of the subcontractors. That's particularly important in a small school district like Enterprise. McKinstry Ascension, uh, headquartered in Seattle, Washington, with an office in Portland, Oregon, submitted the winning bid and is our performance contractor for this project. And the financing for the for performance contract uh, was initially secured through a qualified zone academy bond and then we're looking at other uh, low interest loan opportunities through a federal and state lending agency. So the project itself cost about $1.5 million, but with a renewable business energy tax credit, we were able to cover one third of the cost of that. The total investment for this project had initially showed a 22.6 year simple payback in the project development plan. Uh, which was actually only 16 years when you factor in the biomass energy tax credits from the state of Oregon. As the cost of heating fuel has risen from $2.27 a gallon to now over $3.40 a gallon, the simple payback has dropped to 14.7 years for the entire project and when you factor in the incentives from the state down to 11.1 .1 years. More interesting to the school board, however, is the impact on our annual cash flow. Initially, we were looking at a cash flow positive result from year five with a modest deficit in the first couple of years of between ten dollars to $20,000. Today, we will be cash flow positive from year two. We are able to use our existing system. One of the beauties of this project is that it is pigtailing on with a $2.4 million bond that we spent uh, four or five years ago doing some heating upgrades. Uh, it wasn't comprehensive enough to do everything that we needed done uh, and so uh, most of that money went to the roofing uh, of the existing facilities. Some of our schools are, uh, were built in 1917 so they're pretty old and, and dated but the new heating system um, will integrate with what we did uh, four or five years ago with our past bond and hopefully bring that to uh, completion to a, a, a lot better system. This project is actually bigger than just the Woody Biomass uh, heating system itself. It's looking at a range of energy efficiency measures from heating controls and new lighting uh, that have expanded the size of the project and, and, the, and our total financing needs. But it's still, it is still within the, within the bounds where the savings from the Woody Biomass heating system allow us to pay for all these other energy efficiency measures as well. Uh, so, so the school will get better lighting, 
Uh, it'll get individual, better individual uh, classroom heating control systems, better fresh air circulation, uh, improved uh, steam and heat delivery piping systems, uh, and this new woody biomass boiler. And, and that is really the center of the project because the woody biomass boiler will uh, generate a minimum uh, guarantee of $75,000, $76,000 of savings each year to the school district. With the rising cost of heating oil, which has already risen by uh, over 70 cents this year since the start of the project, uh, we believe the savings will actually be closer to $100,000 in the first year and will continue to increase in subsequent years if heating oil continues to rise. Probably the most prominent challenge we've had has been the weather. Uh, we've had a good old-fashioned Wallowa County winter this year with uh, s uh, m several many inches of snow and so that has delayed our project significantly because of the weather uh, and so we're a little behind schedule. Uh, the other one is, is I would be lying to you if I didn't tell you that it was taking a great deal of time from both my maintenance people, my school board members, and myself. There's been additional time put into it. Uh, in a small school, I'm the uh, uh, elementary principal and the superintendent, so uh, we have our plate quite full, but we feel the overall benefits to uh, the school and to the uh, kids of our, our, our student body is out, far outweigh the time that we need to put in for this project. I think there's a soft spot for a lot of contractors to work with rural Oregon uh, school districts and other clients too. Uh, for us, this project was fun. This is a great project because it had community involvement. It had a school district that was behind it. Um, it really kept the money local in the community as well. We're also excited that a small school district like Enterprise with uh, a little bit less than 400 students uh, is out in the front in experimenting with renewable energy systems and energy efficiency systems. Uh, we understand that we're the first school district in Oregon to invest in a modern biomass boiler in over 50 years. Uh, we're also excited about the fact that all components of this project are being provided by Oregon-based contractors, so, we're, so it directly benefits the state of Oregon as a whole. Mm -hmm.